All right. On today's Finding Faith, both her parents are pastors in her hometown in southern Illinois. She lives right here in Indy, working as a news reporter for our partners at Wish TV. Yeah, and now she joins us here on Lifestyle Live to share her story of faith. Amisha Ramsey, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, Randy. I'm so excited to be here. Like with someone, Randy, this is such a privilege to be well, here. You know? It's a big time show. We're going to have you need a little bit of space in here. That head can't get much bigger. It so, is. Yeah, you tell us here uh, with this Finding Faith segment, you yeah. come from a family who is really big in faith, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys mentioned that my parents, they're pastors. So, both um, of them. Yeah, both of them. So Arthur and Andrea Ramsey. Um, and I've grown up in church for a very, very long time. My dad, his father, actually, which is my grandfather, was a pastor as well. Oh. So it's kind of in the family. And uh, they started a really small home church. So uh, we had it in our grandmother's house since we first started. Okay. What is it like for people who don't understand growing up in a house where both of your fa- yeah. your parents are pastors? <laughs> yeah. So they call it PK. Yeah. Pastors yeah, kids. You that, know, the PKs. Yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes we get a bad rep because they think they were out, you know, <laughs> wild and in the streets and things like that that but um my parents have been not only my uh mother and father but they've also been my spiritual guide they've been uh, a place where i can have a sounding board uh there they are right there uh, that's my mom and dad she's in the red and my dad's there uh, my brother's in the orange sherbert suit jacket so he loves that one too you're the short one in your family i am surprisingly that? and i'm five nine yeah. so uh wow. there you have it but my parents are incredible and uh, just back to faith, like your parents are as can be a sounding board for you, but they Absolutely. also are the first people that instill character, values, integrity. My dad has amazing uh, times that I have spent one on one with him is about integrity. It's doing the things that you do behind closed doors in front of people as well. Yeah. So that's integrity. For Growing me. up, uh, did you ever feel the pressure of having parents who are pastors where you yeah. have to live the perfect life? Yes, you do. Uh, I mean, you, you know, just being a PK and just being in church, even though we had a very small family church, uh, people often looked up to me as an example. And you have other uh, kids who are in church who also do that. But it was a responsibility that I absolutely loved. I feel like growing up, I had an, an environment to explore and to to pray. You know, uh, it's interesting because my dad, he um, like watching him, I've seen him pray for us. Yeah. And that's Something so powerful. That. Yeah, just it to really see that, so. that covering over my, my family. All right, let me ask you this. You said your journey of faith started at the age of five or yes. six years old. Yes. You're receiving Christ in your life. Yes, Is that right? that's so. when I became a born-again Christian. And uh, it's interesting because people think about faith and it doesn't take much. All it takes is faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Super duper tiny. And at that time I had childlike faith and I try to hold on to childlike faith now. Preach it. I'm going to say it. Well, Amisha, yeah. it's certainly a pleasure having you on and sharing Thank your you story so and I think the people at home enjoy seeing that side of you as well because Absolutely. you know we just see you doing reports and, and talking all the <laughs> bad stuff sometimes and, and it's nice to kind of see behind the one more question yeah. do you have a favorite scripture verse absolutely you? let me pull it up too oh, it's ooh. Jeremiah 29 11 I'm going to explain okay. it really quickly so okay. it says for I know the thoughts that I t- have to think towards Love you it. saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So it's, I know the plans I have for you, but the best part about this scripture is the next one. It says, then shall ye call upon me and I shall go pray unto me and I will hearken unto you. Now I know that's King James version, but it's saying when yeah. you call unto God, he hears you yeah. and he answers you. And that's a great promise. You can tell she comes yeah. from a Gino. Gino's. Gino's. Mom and Dad are proud of me. <laughs> nice job. Thank guys. you, Misha. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I love it. That, that, that testimony kind of gives me chills. 